hi this in this video i just do a quick look at the new features of our uh, sorry uh, autodesk's uh, eagle 8.2.1 wow uh, one of the differences between eagle and KiCad as well as orcad has been uh, that in orcad as well as KiCad, you have to generate a netlist and that's exported to a different program and then you do the uh, component layout and stuff like that so normally i have a group of a uh, team of two people who one of which who does the schematic and the other one kind of does the layouts and the schematic guy kind of does it module by module and the layout guy kind of does it module by module uh in eagle we have something called real-time design sync so essentially we have the schematic as well as layout being synchronized in real time uh for example if i take a look at uh if i use the show uh, tool here and if I click on the LED here you can see it starts to glow on the layout as well so this is kind of useful for for small teams or a single person doing the schematic and layout uh, but this is a uh, feature request to Eagle if you could possibly enable some kind of workflow wherein you could disconnect the schematic and layout so that both of those activities can happen in parallel that would be really really fun um, in order to do that they have given us something uh, in the latest version of um, eagle uh, then that's called design blocks so this is a new button that's been added it's called add design block so you can just click on something uh, click on the design block and select ok and it'll just paste the entire schematic uh, without you having to do uh, you know the real the again routing uh, sorry the schematic uh, wiring up and everything uh in order in my case what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, this is an old project you can see this is a uh a thing that i did in 2016 it was done really rapidly um this is an econo pad this is the texas instruments g uh 2 launch pad and this is the economy version wherein the programming circuit or the debug circuit is not included um there is the double row double row of um, connectors here as well and it for the programming i have this jp2 header this is the regulator you can't really tell that this is an led or not because the labels are missing uh there are no bypass caps for this uh, regulator so there's a lot of stuff missing and i want to repair this but 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 uh the pcb was fabricated and uh, now what i want to do is number one i want to convert part of this into a design log so how do i do it simply going to file uh, save selection as design block i have to make a new selection or i could have done that before once you've done that on the windows it's control right click on the mac it's command right click uh, it took me a bit to find out it's not control right click because the mac has uh, the control button as well so command and right click and once i do that you can see these two things get highlighted on the layout as well so what I want to do is not just add these two components, but also add the, I'm doing a command click, command click, and let's zoom in, command click, and the V as well, so command click. So this component, track, connection, so this is on the bottom layer, this is on the top layer. And now if I do a command and right click, it's going to say create a new uh, design block, generate a design block, and you can see the LED and the ground connection and the layout has the resistor on the bottom layer a via and an led so it's kind of cool so i can add a description here i can uh just i'm gonna say delete me because just because say okay is it do you want me oh yeah all right okay so I've just created a new design log, click here, and you can see delete me is there. It has the board. I can do only board, I can do only schematic, or I can just click this, click here, and once I place it here, it's gonna ask me where do you wanna place the uh, layout? So there's the co two components and they're overlapping and stuff like that. Uh, okay, so that takes care of the design blocks. The other thing uh, feature that's been added uh, is the slice tool. Uh, this is particularly handy because normally what I had to do was it, if I use the delete, uh, just take a look at this. So if I use the delete tool here, it kind of deletes the via and everything and everything. So I don't want to delete everything. I just want to make a small cut. I just want to make a disconnection. So if I do this, it's only going to disconnect a part of it so that's cool uh the slice tool is available on the layout as well so i just make a cut here and it's gonna cut 
only that part of the uh, track. Normally I had to rip up and if it was a long track it would just rip up from end to end uh, which is not a good thing. For example, uh, hold on this track for example if I want to cut these I don't want to disconnect everything and just click here and then click here you can see it just disconnected it didn't just rip up the entire track wherein if I use the rip up tool uh, there we go it kind of just blew up the whole track so it's not something I want to do all the time uh, in some cases I just want to remove a segment of it and I can use the slice tool and this is something I feel uh, is uh, very useful so those are the two favorite features that I have uh, that really help uh, with you know kind of designing and layout of PCBs. Again, a feature request I've put up is that you add, please, some, 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 somebody add a um, uh, capability to disconnect the board as well as the schematic so that, and then reconnect them in a uh, sane fashion. There's no tutorial out there. And if you end up having a feature and if you have a documentation to that, please let me know. I'll do the video for it. So thanks for watching. And in the next video, I'm going to take uh, my PCB, and that's this PCB, uh, into a uh, 3D uh, design software that's Fusion 360. So that's coming up next. See you in the next video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.